Hello everybody, this is Mr. Raki. I want to welcome everybody to that tutorial. And uh, today uh, we will be talking about Nearpod and the best practices inside the classroom and through the distance learning. Let's go. Nearpod, here we go. Nearpod's first thing coming up. And as you've seen, I don't need to log in. It just log took me in right away. You can see me logged in here, and um, here's my account. And remember, we're using this domain if you want to log in, uh, like from nearpod.com directly. Um, and now, uh, here's the nearpod. So, I will start with uh, this toolbar on the left side. So we have my library, reports, sub plan, school library, district library, and uh, Nearpod library, uh, English learner, Nearpod lab. So we're gonna start with that left toolbar. Um, and here, if you wanna join somebody else's lesson, so it's gonna be a code, you're gonna enter here, you're gonna jump to their presentation. My library, library this is my own library that uh, you can get here presentations from two sources the first source from nearpod library you can search anything in there and you can add it to your library or you can create like you can see that uh, that one this this is says mr Rocky over here which is uh i created that one and uh, you will see your name if you create like this is this one is mine too and uh, i i create it in there i create multiple uh I've been using Nearpod for uh, for years. I would say around eight years now. Um, so I want to show you the Nearpod library before I talk about how we will be able to create our own presentation. So literally in here, you will find anything and everything you need from A to Z, any subject area, all grade levels. Uh, so the in the, in the left toolbars, there's search for lessons videos uh and you can search by uh the standards for the state which is uh which is really cool like you can uh, look the standards and you can look exactly what you are looking for as you've seen here i just open all the math standards and it's going to give you all the related videos that are assigned to this uh code which is the standards that we use in the in, in the state. Uh, don't forget to pick the state, the subject area, and the grade level. There's different resources type. You can uh, look at uh, virtual reality, full lessons, and uh, skill builders, assessments, and warm-ups. So let's pick full lessons. Let's get find something that uh, under. Remember, I'm under a particular standard, right? So. So I will pick this standard, which is use several triangles. So I found two uh, two presentations. So to add it to your library, you're gonna open it. Of course, you have to check it first. You, you need to look if you like it, if it fits your what exactly your need or not. You can preview it. You can go through, skim through it. Right? It has um, has a slow form. look at it so if you like it you see it's a good fit just add to my library when you add it to your library you're gonna go find it back in the I will add it I'll show you now see show in my library I can go to your library right away and here we go same uh, here here is this is my library over here. Uh, you can see the presentation here slope intercept form by Stephanie um, so let's go back to uh, Nearpod library I want to show you some cool stuff in here because um, it's not just standards as you can there's a lot of fun so here's the toolbar on the left again and um, it, when I select videos you still can pick the standards to find the videos that related to the standards that you're teaching so um, I'll pick Florida and I will say map. So let's see preview. And you can play the video. 
Today, we are going to be talking about the number line in just a minute. Just a minute. So, um, so you can add it to the library right away and you can preview it. You can, uh, live presentation, uh, live participation is in paste. Uh, uh, front of the class the, the difference between live participation is like when you're in a class you're gonna give a code for the students and you they can participate live a student paste is you're gonna give them a link and they can uh, control the slides in the first live participation the teacher would control the slide um, in the student paste the student control the slides so they can like move uh, and pause and come back to and all this front of the class is just like view it from your own computer to the board or the overhead projector and I will talk in details about it uh, so again back to uh, the school library this is if you want to like have an hour like I'm under ESC Center so this is all the the videos that related to this school so probably under Eugene or I'm not sure gonna be alternative ed, it's gonna be different uh, district library this is anyone built anything or under the district so you can search my name you're gonna see my presentation that I shared with the district and so forth so I'm gonna go back to the front interface and I will show you um, I'll show a presentation that I created in here and what is the difference between live participation and student paste. Um, so when you do a live uh, participation, it's gonna create a code for you and that code, um, you may write it in the board, you may copy and, and paste it to uh, WebEx Teams or any kind of platform, WebEx Meeting. The other option is student paste. So here is a student participation. It's still gonna create a code if you wanna share it, or you can just copy the link, uh, or you can embed in your, um, or you can embed in your Ecamps course. You can embed it in uh, Google Classroom directly. Uh, Microsoft Teams, Webex Teams. Uh, you can email it. Uh, so. Um, so this is the um, this is the the student paste option I will um, preview it for you and I'll show you so I created this this was a 3d uh, presentation that I created earlier So uh, here's the lesson I put the learning goal. Here's the standards. So draw draw it um, is when the students will draw in their smart board or their iPads or their touch screen display or even with the mouse like they don't have to have um, none of any kind of like that smart technology as much as a mouse and they can right with the mouse it's a little bit hard but they know how to manipulate it um so so in here there's still this is the markers this is they can uh, write in here as you've seen i'm writing with my mouse now nothing um nothing specific about it they can use the eraser they can make the eraser bigger smaller okay um, um, so let's talk about, um, I know that the library maybe covers all what you need, um, but what about if you want to create your own? So you can add, uh, you can create a new presentation from this plus no sign. Um, you can, uh, create a listen in Nearpod or listen in Google Slides. I will create lesson in your pod since our topic about your pod today so this is the interface so you can upload 
PPT. PPT is the presentation and it's gonna turn to uh, like slides over here and you can pick out of it. So if you have a presentation that already made or if you like a presentation, you can upload it over here. You can drag or drop. Uh, I will show you how. So uh, slide, drag it. As you see in here, it's upload it, press OK. File processing. And as you see in here, all the slides just came out like slide by slide. Here's I have 38 slides in this presentation. And um, it's still processing. So as you see in here, all the presentation uh, slides uh, are showing uh, separately so you can take away or add a slide in between you can select the slide for example and delete the slide okay uh, convert um, one slide to uh, to draw which uh, which is so cool like uh, you can um, like this is, has already a pin let's convert to draw So now I have created a duplicate for it, but the students can write on top of it. Um, so I'm gonna add a slide. Under add a slide is uh, all the options that you can um, embed. The first one is a video. Uh, you can uh, get on, on, uh, you can uh, embed a video from the library. So. Um, Let's say your presentation is on equations. So you're gonna like find all the videos for the equation and you can uh, select one. I just selected anything randomly. Uh, and I saved and guess what? It's in, in my presentation. You're probably gonna see at the end, but what you can do is you see I, I'm sliding it so you can slide it anywhere you want. Uh, anywhere that you prefer I'm gonna like put it in the front so you can see um, okay so I was able to integrate that video that I didn't create but I was searching for it and I, I believe it's a good fit for my presentation uh, and I was able to embed it in my presentation So uh, web co content, you can embed any uh, or add any link as a web based. Uh, you can add actually a YouTube video to it. So let's go to YouTube. And uh, as you've seen in here, it is, um, I can like pick that video I like. Let's see what's gonna happen. What? Still searching so YouTube for Matt share, but the video is from copy, 2006, really and bit in here see now I have the link from YouTube for the video for safe see what's gonna happen here's the website so all uh, this will go put it up a little bit uh, oops. I like to play like a puzzle um, so here's my I've been adding so as a web content now if you select it to all, so now it's says solving an equation so it you can embed YouTube videos I'm gonna add another slide to see oh, Flocavery is an amazing uh, website to uh, you know there's kind of like videos rap videos that uh, review a concept or uh, the, if you have like uh, uh, vocabulary they put it in order and uh, they can put like create like a beat and they sing on it I, li I like it explore it in your own uh, Nearpod 3d can for the science you have the human bodies 3d so let's look at this Okay, so 
I did add a new part 3D. I did add uh, web content, which was uh, YouTube video. I did inter integrate uh, and bit a video from Nearpod library, created a draw, so you can draw on my own presentation that I uploaded it from my own computer, which means like anything that you already created in the past. Um, there is there is a lot of simulation. You can take the extensive field trip. Uh, I, I want to talk about the field trip, uh, the simulation, I'm going to leave it for you to explore it, but the field trip is cool because um, I can go anywhere in the world, world. like for example, if um, uh, it says like Egypt, let's try Egypt, see what's in front of me. So there's mountains, let's go to the pyramids. Okay, so done. Graphing calculator. If you want to embed this in your presentation for upper upper math levels, um, BBC video history class or any kind of like uh, news class or uh, sway. This is a uh, a collaboration uh, kind of like a uh, Microsoft product uh, slideshow is just gonna be uh, JPEG or pictures um, uh, if you have a um, couple of pictures that you want to upload uh, I will try to uh, see what I can upload to demonstrate it okay and remember it goes all the way down Okay, if you have so well, you can upload an audio as well. If you want to play um, a lecture for yourself or something, and you can play it on top of a presentation, you can do that as well. PDF file. Um, so this is under content, and I show you a couple of these to make some. So now we're gonna see what's activities. So. Um, Activities is when you want to assist the students. Uh, maybe it's uh, uh, pre-assessment or exit uh, work uh, at the end of the class or in the middle of the class to check understanding. So time to climb is a cool activity because it's uh, challenges students that they kind of like compete with with each other others to um, climb and what you're gonna the teacher will uh, create a question and after creating a question when the student gets right go up and keep like racing with other students and so forth uh, open-ended questions you can you can enter the question over here and uh, you can embed a video or uh, so that you can create a, embed a video and the students can write something about it you can add a timer let's go back Uh, so um, matching pairs, quiz, uh, flip grid, draw, draw, uh, collaborate board is uh, when students will um, uh, create a sticky note. So uh, you can enter a topic, uh, description, an image, and they can use a sticky note on the right. And it's gonna be like a board with sticky notes. You know, it's kind of like boards that we use in the class, and every single write something on the sticky note and they go stick it to the board and it's collaboration uh, kind of activity um, fill in blanks and memory test um, you can I think there's a lot of option here that will meet the expectation for any of your lesson plans Uh, let's save it and uh, see how this is gonna look. So I see now it's under my library. 
uh, I call it test just to uh, test it. I'm gonna uh, preview it. So here's I want to show you a um, couple of things that we added. So uh, first thing, remember there's 3D skeleton. So um, it's, um, it's it's nice, it's cool. My first time trying this. Let's see. Let's see what's yeah, this guy is really hungry. So um, here's the video that we got from um, I believe that's from YouTube yes yeah, from YouTube in this video we're gonna focus see. on solving linear equations with variables on both sides it's a Khan to Academy video uh, so as you see in here um, it plays inside the interface inside the presentation the students will not navigate to something else or a different website or the YouTube website itself um, this is the video that we got uh, I got from Nearpod library how do you make a circle fit into a square you could try stretching it or even squeezing it but today we're gonna use algebra so um, this is draw and as you've seen it's um uh as i explained oh this is the pyramid so it's an interactive uh kind of like a, a google earth kind of view um is the pyramids wow And this is, uh, remember the, the image I integrated, so uh, only one image in this slide. Um, and this is Nearpod. Um, so I want to show you when you have a quiz or um, in a live session and you want to see, uh, you will see, when you, if you're in a live session or live participation, you will see the progress of the students in front of you under their name, their answer right or wrong, uh, and all this. So if you want to check the reports after the presentation, see I had in here this presentation, exponent their properties. Um, I had three students in uh, I got you can see correct answer wrong answer no answer um, you can download the results uh, or the report you can share it uh, to your email um, so of course um, uh, one last one last thing I want to show you if you like a presentation in here like for example this is the first presentation here is a slope interest report and you like some slides but I don't like the rest you can edit it so you can edit uh, the listen and you can create your own so here's all the slides so you know you can even create download it and you can combine some and create your own and this is I love this so they give you the option to edit the other people presentations 
the other teachers presentations and to create your own out of it so you can customize it you can customize it you can uh, add to it you can take away you can add your own quizzes you can your add your own resources uh, so editing is an option that I like um, um, in here you're gonna like when you select it you can edit uh, edit is open for all of them even my own I left it to anyone can use it and edit it so you know Nearpod is an um, amazing tool you can integrate it in any of the platforms that we currently use remember we have two options uh, live participation or some paste we talked about the differences can duplicate it and edit it um, so there is a lot behind it I just this was kind of like I tried to make it quick as possible uh, for you guys to check your pot.